Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my early access coverage of Curse of the Dead Gods. It's by Past Tech Games, Focus Home Interactive, and it releases into Steam Early Access on March 3rd, 2020. Now we're just going to hop in and we're going to begin playing. We're going to have some fun. I am using a PlayStation 4 controller. And yeah, it's gonna be interesting very very interesting this game looked really 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 good i have not actually touched or played it at all yet so this is gonna be my very first hands-on experience with said game hopefully we pick it up well enough if we learn what we're doing what we need to do we're able to do it all right oh. i'm gonna assume that's us probably maybe so it's it's a nasty day out We've come to the entrance of what I can only assume is a temple. We are quite tired, but we're here for it, so let's see what's up. Oh, that's not good. Well, I guess we're stuck now. Equip your torch. The torch illuminates your surroundings and can set flammable objects on fire. How do I equip my torch? Oh, I press A, okay. Well, that didn't work out how we had planned. Okay. Um, what this? Okay, so I can, I can like launch a little bit of a fire blast with my torch. Oh. And there's my melee weapon. And, okay, okay, I see all the stuff in the bottom left. So, torch, melee weapon, and then, ooh. Okay, that's interesting. Do we have, like, a set number of bullets? I, I don't see ammunition anywhere. Okay. Interesting. It does not look like we can have both our weapons out and our torch out at the same time. Which is interesting, for lack of a better term. Nope, nothing over there. Okay, so that's a dodge roll. Looks like we have those little blips. Is that a parry? Must be a parry, I guess. Not entirely certain. Well, I don't think I want to go that way. I mean, I probably do, but... So when we put our torch away, there's whispers that are happening, and the little thing in the bottom turned to this weird purple color. Okay. When we walk away from there, it's just pitch black. That's weird. Okay, I'm sure all this stuff will make sense as we go. Anyway, well, let's continue. Knock, knock. Who be there? Uh, me. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, uh, I should probably have washed this hand before I came here. But, you know what? It worked, I guess. Oh, he's scared. Oh, I love it. I love the animation for that. Oh. Oh, we have an area map. Okay. Uh, we can get gold. Weapon. Hmm, interesting. What, what is the thing two ahead of me? Is that health or something? Because what I'm leaning toward right now is maybe going for gold, double weapons, triple weapons, then the health. I don't know. Let's try this. Uh, okay. I'm not real sure what I just did, but... Surprise! I opened the door, I don't know why that made my guy scream, and we got 20 purple things? Not sure what the purple things are. I suppose we'll figure it out here soon enough. Well, you know, I do like the background, but it is very off-putting here. Looks like there's like tears in the, in the ceiling that let some light through. Oh, well, this looks like fun. Save available? What does that mean? I mean, I, I know what save available means. Oh, I can save and quit. Okay. Basic moves and stamina. Right trigger. Dodge to quickly evade attacks. 
Chain melee attacks until you trigger a finisher. Range attacks consume stamina. Where's our stamina meter? Do we have one? I mean, I don't see any stamina. Oh, oh, the stamina's at the bar is at the bottom. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And these are clearly traps? How, how do they work? Okay. Ow! That hurt a lot, actually. I wonder if I can just dodge through all of this. Apparently, yes. Yes, I can. Sub gas. Oh! Oh, I did not dodge that well at all. Alright. Looks like I can light some stuff on fire. Ooh, they seem very upset with me. I, I don't think they like me lighting stuff on fire. I think it upsets them greatly. Alright. I can chain attacks together. Oh! I just, oh my goodness, I just ate that right right in my face. Don't, don't roll into the guys, probably not the best plan. Well, it didn't look like you could interrupt their attack there. Pretty sure I should have been able to avoid getting killed there, or hit there, I should say. So it looks like our fire has gone out. And despite my attempt to dodge there, I did not dodge. Alright, this is interesting. I've been playing actually a fair few games that are similar to this. And I have to admit, every time I play one of these, oh my goodness. They have slightly different game mechanics. So, it may take me a little bit of time to kind of figure this out. Okay, so you can't dodge to that side of them. You have to dodge in the other direction. Not even close to being able to handle this. It's gonna go in. Apparently, that does not work. I think I have to wait it out a little longer, too. Alright. So that worked out probably better than it should have. A jeweled hammer. Main weapon provides passive illumination. You know what? That's cool. I'll take it. Alright, let's light this up again. Let's see how the new hammer uh, forms. Not sure if stuff like put that out or what. It looks like we do have a charge attack too. But I definitely got my booty whooped. Sidewinder sword. Finisher costs no stamina, does not do as much damage as my current Mace of Doom. Took longer than I expected. No, that should have been probably right. Ah, oh, that was my fault. I hit the wrong button. Hey. There it is. Alright. Okay, so this, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit to get used to. This is vastly different than any of the other games that I've played lately. It's, I don't want to say slower, because that's not accurate, but there's something about it that's just, it's different. It's a more of a precise, measured movement as opposed to a, a kind of a twitch reaction, if that makes any sense. Golden Mask, Relic Jaguar, gain 100% damage, of damage taken in gold. Why not? I'll take it, I guess. Yeah, this, uh, this did not go well for me. Um... Kind of learning the ropes, I already kind of got 
almost almost dead. I've lost over half my HP. And there's a lot of enemies too. Like I'm surprised at how many enemies there are. All right, we're going after this next weapon. I guess. I'm not sure what the bar in the bottom right does, but it's there. Oh. I thought for sure I was able to dodge that. frame perfect like I think that was not an intentional frame perfect maneuver but oh god that was bad I don't even know what that did to me but it hurt thank you it doesn't seem like it hurt who is this guy oh no alright You don't get to leave. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I was wrong. Apparently, you get to leave just fine. All right, there we go. Very satisfying, like, hard-hitting maneuvers. But at the same time, like I said, very specific and precise. Like, you really have to time what you're doing versus being like, oh, I'm just going to dodge real quick. I mean, like, there's a little bit of that, but everything just feels, like I said, like, more controlled, more specific with what you're doing. All right, there's a Jaguar bow or a Jaguar bow. Um, for 560 and 20, whatever that is, and it gives us fire attacks. Um, sure, why not? We'll try it. Uh, it's my B button. Eh, that's interesting. I really, really need help. Do I have a choice of where I'm going? Looks like I don't. Corrupted, what does that mean? I think I'm about to find out. Shadow Flame. Even the light and warmth of fire is not immune to the embrace of dark powers. Some braziers will now burn with a dark flame that cannot and cannot be lit. Uh, okay. Sure. I mean, it seems bad. It's so weird playing different games. This can't be lit, huh? Neither can this one. Alright. jumped into it, and then I, I still saved myself, and then I jumped, oh. Alright, one, ah, two, can I, can I roll in mid, yes I can. The roll is still a little bit slower than you would expect. This stuns them, like, right? Like, that's a little stun high animation over their head when I hit them. Hmm. Oh. Oh, we're not done yet. yet apparently ah. Ah. oh what is that 
Oh, oh I rolled. It didn't take. All right. So, first-hand experience, first time playing the game. Not great. I didn't do well. The game itself feels really good. Like I said, the, there's a lot of meat, a lot of solidity, which is fine. But it's like it's real heavy and, and weighty when you hit something, and I like that. And like I said, the the combat is very precise, and it's it's a little bit slower than a lot of the like I said the, the twitch reaction ones where you just have to like immediately dodge and this and that. But I like it. I like it. I just, like I said, I just, I'm just going to have to get used to it because I've actually been playing quite a few games similar to this lately. And unfortunately, uh, you get used to one or the other type situation. It's fine. All right. Let's hop in, give it a second shot. What is this? Uh, short exploration, medium, long, and hard. Uh, let's go with short. Uh, let's start with the unknown. Why not? Maybe we'll find something amazing. So it looks like whenever we open the doors, we get those buffs, debuffs, when we get corrupted. What? What's this? Oh, I, I heal myself for corruption. Well, that was kind of a waste. I wasn't actually hurt, so uh, seemed a little bit silly at the time. Yeah. Well, at least I know now. All right. Well, let's get into this room. It's gonna get locked off here in a sec. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it won't get locked off. Guys out. Got him. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, what else we got? Who else? You? Take you down. Put you in the back. While you roll out of the way of you. Ah. I read that wrong, I didn't think you... Oh, I didn't expect him to attack that second time. That first time I just read it wrong, I thought for sure that he was uh, still recovering from me hitting him, but apparently that wasn't the case. All right. What's up, buddy? Catch. Hold this. Didn't I just shoot the barrel? Oh. Ow. Well, that's gonna, yeah. Alright, we took him down. We got ourselves the Guardian's Codex. Okay. 10% base damage for four shields. Sure, I guess. Well, again, I'm not starting off super strong. Definitely seen uh, some better starts in my day, but you know what? That's okay. Ooh, a spear. Two-handed spear. Each kill restores one more stamina. All right. Wait, did, did I not pick that up? Oh, I did. Okay, so it moves over there, and it costs stamina to use that one. Does it take stamina to use my basic attack? It does not. Oh, it does. If I get a finisher in with it. Alright, I got you. Okay, okay. Kind of learning. Alright. Whoa, that was a that was a heck of a Wanna play, buddy? There it is. Very nice. Alright, cool. Too big of a thing. Not too bad. A big room. Yeah, that's a parry that I should try at some point. Maybe it's a block. Maybe I actually need a shield to block with. I don't know. Alright, it seems like we've done everything that we need to do. 
Let's go here, get ourselves a bit more corrupted. I'm curious as to what that, that three-headed thing is on the right, so we'll, we'll see. We'll go through. Like I said, we're going to play around a bit. We're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to hopefully get slightly better as we continue. That's always the dream. Ah, I hit the wrong button. Oh, oh, stuff's on fire. What? That. I did wait to the last second, though, so it's possible I screwed it up right now. Oh. I should have just gone for the kill. Oh, oh no. What was that? Guys, like a necromancer slash like blood healer. That was creepy. I mean, it was cool. It was different. Unexpected to be sure, but it's still creepy. All right. So what do we have here? We have the the ability to get the sidewinder sword to replace the machete, which uh, eh, isn't really all that impressive. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass on that for now. Let's see what we get next. Perform a secondary attack after a series of main weapon attacks to trigger an offhand combo. I haven't done that yet, apparently. That's, that's part of my uh, tutorial. I totally ignored the tutorial little side mission quest thingy this entire time after uh, the initial deal. Oh boy. Why do I feel like something bad's about to happen? Probably because something bad's about to happen. Alright. Ah. Perform a secondary weapon attack after a series of main weapons, weapon attacks to trigger an offhand combo. It didn't work. I just tried it there. It, it did not, it did not work for me. I don't know why. Oh, okay. You can burn spider webs apparently. All right. That's interesting. Can't go that way. Spike trap over there. Some extra gold just chilling here. Break all the pottery. You guys know I don't like pottery. So you must always, always and forever break that pottery. Okay, well that... I mean, things are going better than they were. I mean, they're, they're still not going well, but... Better. Oh, jeez. I'm not gonna lie, that freaked me out just a little bit. Oh, I made the jump, but only barely. Being on fire. He doesn't seem to really care for being on fire all that much. It's okay. The reason it's okay is we have to do all that right there. Anything? Where did our little fire, uh, was it this? Did I light that up? Oh, that was it. Wait, did I light that up somehow in the middle? Alright, it doesn't look like there's any other path to take, so we have to go up this way. Is there a map button? Just curious. There is a map button, but it doesn't show. 
It says area map, but that's not accurate. It's not really an area map. Alright, what is this? Tamox gift, get 250 max health. 25% gold fine, or 250 max health and 25% gold fine. Duh. I guess I'd take that. It'd be silly not to. I mean, it's expensive, sure, but... Alright, I guess we go onward. We're about to become corrupted, though, or so it seems. Alright, so what horrible thing's gonna happen? Is there a way to, to remove corruption? Cadaverous infestation. Some enemies lie dormant, hidden within hosts just waiting for the moment to strike. Even more unwary prey. Regular enemies can spawn additional critters when killed. Oh, well that's fantastic. That sounds like a party. Oh, that's... It's actually more disturbing than I thought it was. Hearing those whispers? It's off-putting, man. That is quite off-putting. Aww. Uh, oh no! Man. Oh, bullmark. How cool a bat spawn. I am totally a fan of spawning bats. Definitely got that greed kill up. Alright, batty bats. I still can't get that, that final thing, the offhand whatever. Not working for me. Oh. Really? I was outside the edge of the- Oh, that's- That's not- No, nah, that didn't happen. No, there's no way. I was outside the edge of that. I even- uh, Whatever. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. So chill over here. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's super angry. It's coming right for me. Oh, and the bats. Oh, and there's so many bats. You know, it said that they may spawn additional enemies. Not that they absolutely every single time would. Oh, that was unfortunate. Two, three, four, and... Uh. Well, I got the bat, I guess. It's... A secondary weapon attack after a series of main weapon attacks to trigger an offhand. I just can't do it. This doesn't seem to want to work for me. I mean, I guess it's fine, but... Somewhat disappointing. Man, that hurt, though. Get shot by that thing? Oh, boy. Come on, boys. Let's do the dance. Kind of kidding about doing the dance, but really? Come on, let's play. Let's go. You want some? Bring it. Silly bats. Tricks are for kitten. No, I'm kidding. Um. Uh, two handed bow. Can I? I guess I'll take it. I'll leave my spear. I, I felt like the spear. You know what? No, I want the spear back. I feel like the spear uh, was doing me uh, pretty decent. Like it was. It was all right. Still can't seem to get that extra combo thing. I don't know if I have to. It just says throw, press the button one more time after a combo. Two, three, attack, and then one more. But I'm not getting any kind of offhand anything. Oh gosh. Oh, 
Okay. Really? Oh wait, those can get destroyed? Apparently that is not accurate. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. How I was able to dodge it the one time and then the second time I just got murdered by it. Not a fan. Not a fan. Alright, well hopefully the Haven will allow me to get the healing. But I feel like I'm going to be getting the uh, the corruption. A little bit more of the corruption here. Alright, whatever. I'll take it, I guess. It is what it is. Alright, what's next? Auric Malediction. Wealth is corrupting inf is a corrupting influence. Shed its attraction, and your whole body will thank you. Lose as much gold as damage taken. Health loss is reduced by... Ooh. I mean, I guess. It'll keep me alive a little longer, but... That seems rough. Gold for health. I still feel like I'm doing really bad in this one. Like, most of the other games, like I said, that I play like this... I don't feel like I'm ever doing good, but I feel, like, like exceptionally bad at this one. I did not see anything cool happen there. What? How did he catch me? Oh, well, that was just a dumb move all the time. Wombats. Alright, so what is this thing? Any healing that exceeds max health is turned into gold. Well, that's interesting. So all that I lost there was basically big chunks of my gold and a little tiny bit of health. Okay. That was easy enough. Again, easy enough. Take it. Yeah, make that jump. Oh boy. Gonna be some angry people up in this piece. Oh no, what are you? Obviously. Obviously it was a mistake. Oh, I got clipped by something. Did the big guy? Oh, oh, yeah, he somehow hitting me. Even though it looked like I was really, really far out of his range. I'm not sure I'm on board with that. Just gonna take it slow. So that actually went up pretty decent. And I was around 770 gold. I mean, I didn't gain a lot, but I didn't lose too much either. So, I mean, I, I suppose I'll take it. There's no path that way. Oh, this is a, it's fun. I like it. It's not easy, but it's fun. All right, what do we have here? Uh, gold offering removes five corruption, like uh, plus three dexterity. Uh, yeah. Do I remove the actual corruption I have?
I don't think I did. So I'm curious as to whether or not this, um, the third objective over there in the advanced combat moves, whether that's broken, whether my timing's off, or... Like, I, I don't... I mean, weapon attacks to trigger. That's it. Is it like right when the, maybe it was when it flashes? No? Maybe it's, 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 hmm, I don't know. I can't make that work for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't look like I can change my, uh, my maneuvers here. I'm going straight into whatever I'm going into. It looks like we're coming up on a boss if I survive this room. I'm relatively healthy. That doesn't mean I'm going to survive, but I am relatively healthy. Did that work? No, that didn't work either. So many angry things. Uh oh. No, oh, no. Oh, oh, I can't get out of that in time. Dodge gentle and calmly. There are so many bats right now. They really want me dead. Is that a shield? An ancient buckler, secondary weapon, shield. After a parry with your main weapon deals critical damage for two seconds. The the weebly uh, top now nah, I'm not gonna go with the shield. I mean I could try to parry, I guess. I haven't tried that yet. We have a little bit of health to play with. We do not have much in the way of gold to play with, though. So I don't know how effective... I'm so nervous going into rooms. I'm like, what's happening? What horrible thing is going to befall me next? Is that forge hammer deals critical? Ooh, it's quite strong. You know what? I'll take it. Super not alive anymore. Well, they don't live here anymore. Come on. I think that's my dude's name. My dude, my, he looks like a Wally. Like if I had to name this dude, he'd be Wally, right? I, I think we're all in agreement. This dude looks like a Wally. Uh, I don't know what you call him though. Like Wally, Aunt, Wally Anna Jones. It doesn't really, really fit. All right, we got um. Not enough to do anything. We can get more max health if we're willing to sacrifice more of our soul. I, I'm kind of gonna do that, I think. I'm just gonna cut myself. Here you go. Just give me a little bit of extra HP. And uh, I'm feeling not so great, but you know what? We're gonna go and we're gonna face off against the champion and then we're gonna break it off, guys and gals. I know this episode's running a bit long, but I wanted to give it my best effort. I made it all the way to a boss. I felt like we had to go through the entire run. My first run fell flat on its face. My second run's probably going to fall flat on its face, but at least it fell further flat on its face than the first one did. Oh god, I'm already terrified. What what, 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 what are those? Oh jeez. You have dogs. Good. That was really fast.
Come on, spear boy. Oh, I did not die that well. Ah! It hurts really bad. Man, I just can't time that. No matter how hard I try. Ah! That was too early for a change. That was too late that time. It's too far away. I didn't get stunned like I was expecting. I dodged it. Go back to talking about what a hero I am. Come on. <laughs> what was that? He just doubled down. He can't do that. Well, I definitely think we're going to be dying here. But it's not for lack of trying. Alright. Uh. Can't dodge it. Oh, I ran out of. I don't know, man. The the spear seemed to really do a lot of decent damage there, and then it just stopped. I guess I ran out of stamina. Well, that boss fight, pretty nasty, to be honest. I, I don't think I made the right, well, the best choices all the way through. But there you go. We got killed by is it Killers Puza the Blood Hunter? I guess. Uh, we got 88% through the dungeon. We made it all the way to the, I guess, the final boss of our short dungeon. Almost halfway through his health bar. It took us about 23 minutes. Yeah, it's not bad. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the next area. And we're just going to basically break it off right here. A lot of fun. I really, really, really like what I see here. We have seven of the skulls. It looks like we can unlock up to two things. Gain Fury. Deal 50% more damage for 10 seconds after taking damage. And Traps deal 100% damage to enemies. Which is interesting. I don't think I'm going to do any of those things right now, but that's where we're at right now. Uh, we also have Divine Favor, and each favor allows allows to renew the object proposed in Weapon or Relic Shrines. I'm not sure what that means, but either way, that's not something we're going to do right now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature, just like it always is. Again, it's releasing March 3rd, 2020 into Steam Early Access. If you guys are going to pick it up right away, make sure you go ahead and you wishlist it to let the developers know that you guys are interested in it. And subscribe to the channel for more content like this and tons of other stuff. Until the next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for uh, kind of putting up with my terribleness, but hey, you know what? We got pretty far. I'm, I'm, I'm not ashamed. Like the first one, a little ashamed there. Second one, eh, just a little, a little head hangy, but you know, not ashamed. We we had a good showing, and then hopefully next time we'll actually make it all the way through and beat the boss. Who can say? Anyway, guys, I'll see you later.